and go to game. You went to an arcade the other day. They had a bunch of pinball machines. See, now we're talking. Now we're talking. What kind of pinball machine? Like, did you see it? Did you, did you gather which ones they had? Because if they had, like, you know, specific ones. Oh, please do. Please, please do. Why does it always change this back to full screen? That's funny. I really, really, really want to see what they had. Because I bet it was some good stuff. I played many of them. Wheel of Fortune. Wall of Fortune or Wheel of Fortune? I assume Wheel of Fortune. Walking Dead is a good one. Star Wars. Which Star Wars? The new one or the old one? Did it have like an LCD screen? Or was it like a little tiny one? It's all good. It's all good. Etc. Etc. They had everything. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Maybe there's a there's a thing back in like the early two thousands of like, ooh I know let's take these board games and turn them into pinball machines, or something. So you know. Like there's a Monopoly one that's actually really fun. There's something else. I forget what the other one is. The video does not show the titles very well, but I will still post it. Eek, sorry, no problem. No problem. We were here. Jumping, attacking, yes. I can rush with circle button, of course, of course. And I have this. That's right. And I can do this. Uh, whatever you want. Post it wherever. It's fine. Either one. It's like, hey, okay, I saw this. It's fine. It may not let you post videos. It may not. Let me check, actually. <gasps> Just chatting. Permissions. And I want verified to be able to what's up tanner web hooks permissions no, no 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 do that do that do that embed links attach files yeah you should be able to do it cool yeah so i'm very much looking forward to that tanner how was how was dark cloud 2 how was dark cloud 2 a, in your words, the best RPG on the PS2. Which, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's everything ever. You're not biased at all. You're not biased at all. And then you are the shopkeep. It has everything you, you could ever want. Uke golf. Okay. What else? Town building. That's two things. Fishing. I know it's got fishing. Brother, if you're in need of a weapon, you've come to the right place. Fights within mechs. Yep. The mechs are. Yeah, I see it's posted. I see it, Cassie. I'll listen to these two talk. Hold on. Hey. <laughs> What's up, Holden? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, I see it, Cassie. It's, uh, went to an arcade the other day with lots of pinball machines, including Wheel of Fortune, Star Wars, Walking Dead, and many more, and then a video. Let me click on it. Oh, yeah, you have to download it, but, you know, that's fine. How can I help you, brother? Works for me. Hi, Holden. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Uh, I think I'm good on all my stuff. I think I'm good on my stuff, and my goal at the moment is that. Find Cold Grim. <laughs> Where did Gimli get here? Gimli got here like a week ago, basically. <laughs> got you tabbed. Have a fun. I appreciate it, Demi. Appreciate it. You should be able to, uh, you can download it, Tanner.
That was it. On the wrong screen. Lol. Found it. <laughs> ah. Ooh, there's some good ones in that one. There's some good ones in that one. That's awesome. There's a pinball bar next, next to your new apartment. Let's go. Yeah, it worked in VLC. That's what I was watching again. All right, what are we doing? We're going to the mines. We've already talked to Toregir. Welcome back. I fear you had met the same fate as Colgrim and his band. Let me keep searching for him, brother, because I am also a dwarf or something or something. Yay, we're back in the game. I appreciate you guys being flexible with me. We were dead tired from from Universal. So I decided to not push myself because in the past when I've pushed myself, I've had a very not productive week. So I decided against it, you know, for uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Adult. Adultness. Yay. And all that fun stuff. A certain fight just concluded so you're free to binge. In fact, I feel like Hold's been binging, like, perpetually. Just kind of perpetually. The woods look too thick to navigate without a map. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's go to the mines. That's where I want to go as a as my stout dwarf lad. Look at me. Look at me bebop around. Nah. Mm, press X to doubt, Holden. Press X to doubt. The burning eye base? All right, fine. Oh, there it goes. That one worked. I will binge to take a month off, then repeat. That's still binging. Still counts. I have to kill the evil wolves. They're evil, it's fine. What a mess, I know. Discord's fun. Discord's very fun sometimes. <laughs> I, uh, you can best believe I will be perusing that. Definitely be perusing that later on because I am very curious to what they had. There's one in uh, the town where I come from normally, where I was, where I lived for a long time. And uh, you wouldn't say professionally? Okay, fine. Consistently, is that better? But there's a, uh, an arcade in the town that I'm from, the city I'm from, that has uh, just a metric butt ton of pinball machines and what's great is because i'm decent at pinball i can actually go in there and play on like one or two machines for like a couple bucks because they keep giving me free games because i keep getting the high scores what's up what's up <laughs> all right how y'all doing tonight seems like seems pretty decent 275 games? Stop it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're exploring the areas. Nothing up there. Bunch of games, that's awesome. Was it like mostly just arcade games? It seems like there's just a lot of random stuff, which is totally fine. Old school... And new ones, it was fun, nice. Modded Minecraft, you say? Hmm, what mod? Or sorry, mods. Because you very rarely do like just the one. And by you, I mean people, when you, you know. Arcade games and some air hockey. Air hockey's always one of those things where I'm like, I think it'd be cool to have like an air hockey table, but like, you know, like am I really ever gonna play that? The answer is no. Would I play a pinball machine? Yes. Yes, I would. Can you make 
like a video pinball machine, yes. Would I do that? Absolutely. Will I ever stop speaking in rhetorical questions? Yes. What's up, cool kid? Crazy craft mod pack. All right. I think I know what that one is. Or part of it. Why do you know barcades have a time crisis machine? Would you like me to answer that uh, in a real funny way or like an actual real way? Yeah, like it would be fun to have a pool table, but would you ever use it exactly? It, then it's just like a laundry table. Tanner, the reason is because time crisis machines, old ones, are expensive. Because everybody wants one. Everybody wants one. And the problem is that the newer time, newer time crisis machines are huge. They're cool, but they're huge. You would play pool? How often? How often would you play pool? Once or twice? Never again? I would never play pool. I just don't like pool like that, though. Also, I gotta say, the, uh, the last office that I was in had, like, a pool table in, like, the, you know, the area where people do work and stuff, because that's a cool thing that people in Silicon Valley are doing, so, you know, every company, including one in, like, High Point has to do it, you know? Doing good, trying to think of an edited video idea, because I'm out of ideas. Oh, okay, okay. You do technically own a pool table already? You, in your apartment, have a pool table? I press X it out. Unless it is, it's in your, like, apartment complex and you can, like, use it. That kind of works. Currently on break at work right now and I love my new job. Let's go. Let's go. Man, y'all, everyone, everyone's having a, a pretty decent day, it seems like. I'm loving that. Watching the animes. Having a good day at work. Just Jay chilling. Not bad. Not bad. It's not in my apartment, but I do own it. Okay. Fair enough. Also, I beat Metroid Dread on Dread Mode. I'm officially God. It's pretty impressive. I wouldn't do it. But good on you. I have too many other games to play. And Metroid Dread's pretty good. But I don't like it that much. That's just me. I'd love to be able to use my camera, but it won't let me. Won't let me use my camera. It wasn't worth it. I've, that's all I've heard. <laughs> that's all I've heard. All I've heard. There's always too many games to play. True. Not this year, though. None of them are coming out. They all got delayed. You still did it. Very, very well done, Absolute. Very well done. My grandfather left his to me in his will because he taught me to play and it was the only one. And I was the only one who ever played with him. Well, that's nice. That's nice. I don't have a sentimental connection to pool in that way, though. So I would personally not buy a pool table. But I appreciate the fact it is it is a, uh, a sentimental thing. Probably makes it better. Probably makes it more fun, too. <laughs> Tanner, be all cute about it. Jeez, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Overall, after winning and beating Metro Dread, Dread Mode, all modes... It's a solid five out of five masterclass game. Solid, solid five out of five. Okay. There you go. Fully disagree, but that's all right. Very good game. Not a five out of five. Not a, it doesn't do a single thing that's different than any other Metroid game. Any other Metroid game that makes it worth five out of five. In my opinion. In my opinion. And that's, we can have different opinions. That's all good but it's just kind of more Metroid. Not bad, just more Metroid. Come here, you. Yeah, have at you. Killing Wookiees up here. What are the, no, not Wookiees. What are those things called in Empire? The thing that uh, takes uh, Luke at the very beginning on Endor. Not a masterpiece, OMG, because I had 323 deaths on Dread Mode. 
You said five out of five. That is, that means masterpiece. Ewoks are the Wampa. Thank you, go. There you go. It's not it's not an Ewok. <laughs> Ewoks are on uh, sorry, the, those are on indoor. It's on Hoth that that thing takes them. Sorry, my bad. My bad, my bad. Gosh, these these wampas are. You said masterclass, okay, but a five out of five in, implies masterpiece. You can't you can't say five out of five and then not also put in the same words like that is the masterpiece. Yeah, that's the absolutely that's the same thing. Five out of five, perfect, amazing, like masterpiece game, masterclass game. They're, they're just mincing words at that point, splitting hairs, falling into semantic traps. And of course, my headset is about to die. Hold on. The cool thing, by the way, that I have everything set up here, though, is. Plug it back in. No problem. And then. Pop it back all on over here. And then instead of using wireless. I can just use the good old. Wired headphones. Like we normally do. No problem. Okay, find a masterpiece. We st still pissed on how many times I died. Well, yeah, I mean, you're supposed to. You're supposed to die in that mode. That's the whole point. What's in here? Ooh, the cave. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely. I think you and I have had this, had this discussion before. I, I very much think that Dread is a... Uh, I would probably put it as like a three or four out of five, probably closer to a four just because I really enjoyed the loop that they set up. But uh, it is not, in my opinion, a five out of five. Like there's there's nothing about that game that makes me want to go like, oh yeah, you should play that game instead of Super Metroid or Metroid Prime. Like in fact, if, if someone was like, hey, what is the first Metroid game I should play? It probably wouldn't be Dread because Dread is kind of more difficult than other ones. Very good game. Very good game. Don't get me wrong. Not five out of five game. Final boss was the easiest one to beat, I'm sure, because this pattern is so like consistent. Which is good, because like if you have a if you <laughs> you have a boss whose pattern is not consistent, then it's like, what's the point? I don't know. I just Random, random bosses are, ugh, ugh. You fought them so many times. I, yeah, I believe it. I believe it. How's, how's my potions doing? Not great. Not great. Only have seven. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go in this cave. See if we can find some more. Bet you they have more in here. The graphics on this game are amazing. Uh, Cassie, this game came out in 2001. 2001. I'll be honest, Super Metroid was a 2 out of 5 for me. It was good, but it was super outdated. It's only outdated because the map is not as... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Robust as the more recent games. But again, I think that's part of the, the design of that game. Super Metroid's tough, too. I don't recommend normally Super Metroid for... for people who have not played a Metroid game is also kind of obtuse and some might say that's part of it, but eh. Okay, actually for 2001, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. All right, break's over. See you guys later. Later, Absolute. We'll be here until 10 p.m. if you want to come hang out, which I guess would be 9 p.m., 8 p.m. for you. I don't remember where you're at. I asked this last time, but how are you playing this? Because PS3, uh, backwards, uh, playing this backwards compatible PS3, because I gotta say, beautiful stream picture. Uh, yeah, backwards compatible PS3. It's the way it does. It's the way I got it going. Streaming interlaced 40i is a true art form. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, what's up, Retro Gaming? How's it going? Yeah, we have a backwards compatible original model PS3 over here. 
and it is loud as all get out, but it, it functions. So not bad. And yeah, the de-interlacing that it does is like just amazing. Really, really great for capture. I still need to take this thing apart and like clean it up and get it working in like the best order possible. But for now, it's functional. It only gets it only gets mildly super hot. <laughs> but I also uh, I also care a lot about the way that you all can see the game too, because you know I've I've watched a lot of retro streamers and the main problem I normally have is the way that stuff's captured I just can't I can't see it well enough and granted I, I play on a CRT sometimes but like something with the way that like bit rates it's just bad New Arctic Silver were silenced and also custom firmware can be fan control I'm looking into the firmware stuff too but I mean the reality is like I'm gonna have to crack it open and put on some new uh, thermal paste because that's probably the original so yeah I'm looking at the, getting the, the Arctic Silver as well you manage to get yours quiet that's very, very good. That's very, I'll probably only use this one for like this kind of con, um, content anyway. Like I'm not gonna play PS3 games on this thing normally. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's it's so good at doing this kind of thing specifically. So, you the chaos of three voices in my ears too, is too chaotic. I must lurk here to watch Emmy stream a little bit and I will come back as soon. I'm so sorry y'all. <laughs> So are you all streaming at the same time? It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Not a problem. Tell me I said hello. Tar said what up? Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Oop. Don't get don't nope. Nope. Don't okay. Well, well. There we go. Woo! Woo! Scared me. Enter a cave. Let's go. Weak. <laughs> Listen, we can't all be cool like you, Tanner, okay? I, know, I wish I could, but I can't. I really cannot get over how solid this game is. Well, don't do that. <laughs> Well, don't do that. Hey, br hey, pro tip, don't look at, at at chat when you're smacking random explosive barrels. Shh, 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 shh. That was the practice run. That's a practice run. We're fine. We're fine. As I was saying, the game holds up really well after like 20 years. It's uh, pretty impressive. Pretty crazy, really, if you think about it, uh, how well this game translates and how easy it is to play. Uh, and you know also how easy it is to definitely 100% not get killed by um, random barrels that you just hit because you're not paying attention. That couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I would never do that. That's crazy. You say that's me? That's crazy. I don't... I wouldn't do that. I would never do that. And I'm more importantly offended that you would say so. Here we go. Boom. See, look, now they're blown up and I didn't even die this time or at all because I didn't die last time. You know, like, come on. Like, come on. Easy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hey, guys, we have a new episode of uh, Cross Chain Gaming coming out tomorrow. It's going to be pretty, pretty cool. We talked about, um, oh, gosh, the uh, the entire Champions of North. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Retro gaming. Absolutely. I looked into a lot of the ones that you that uh, you mentioned last time, and I was like, "Ooh, the find me some of those." Uh, well, we talked about these these Square Enix sale of some of their Western developers, and like what that means for the implications of like the gaming world going forward. Really interesting stuff on that one. Really interesting. Really interesting stuff. More importantly, uh, I've learned that a lot of people don't actually know what uh, Thief or um what's it called thief or crap what's it called legacy of cain the fact that there's so many people who don't know what thief or legacy of cain is makes me sad 
Makes me sad. Okay, here we go. I need I need something more important here. Okay, don't care about the ranged attack. Constitution is not bad. Preach it. There we go. I knew I knew you'd be on the same page. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. You know what? More damage. Why not? Seven points. Let's go. Sorry, meditation. Don't care about you. Don't need that. Hmm. Two-handed axe or hammer. Hmm. Hmm. Improved crit. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Health regen. Meditation is nothing. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Brush. Not bad. You get that up. Don't really use it that much, unfortunately. Let's see here. Seven points. I kind of want that. I kind of want to wait for that, but I'll get that eventually. Tell you what. Tell you what. Let's go for more crits. For sure. Ooh, I can do both. Hold on. Thief is one of my favorite series, but I have to be lame and admit that Thief 3 is my... Thief 3 is your favorite? Wow. Hot takes. Thief 3 is really not that bad. Thief 3 is really not that bad. It's just the problem is it came out after like Thief 1 and 2. And like Thief 1 and 2 are just so good. And like Thief, Thief 3 is not bad. It's not Thief 4. You know, it's not Thief Remake. Which that game is... Man. I was so disappointed with that game. This guy is chonky. He's not that chonky. The shame. Listen, we all have our gaming guilty pleasures. There's, that's okay. That's okay. Not a problem. Everyone has a game that they're like, no one else should like this game, but I do. Mine is probably Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. I know it's not a great game. I do love it though. Yeah. Hey, deal with those. Deal with these. Yeah, let's go. What's up? What's up, yellow guys? How's it going? Bad. Bad for you, it looks like. <laughs> I made sure to go ahead and blow up the... Uh, the barrel so I didn't just like randomly punch them again as I am wont to do allegedly you can't prove it you can't prove it at all what's that A serrated scimitar okay let's go no 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 let's go come on yeah see he tried he tried he thought about it he tried he did his best it was bad and it was bad Again, cannot emphasize enough. Howl for 2001. Good gracious. Just good gracious. I was talking to somebody uh, about this, actually, and they were like, yeah, I think I'm actually going to play this game. Which is the entire goal, or one of the goals of this entire my whole thing, is to kind of highlight some games people may not have played. And as I get older, it's sadder and sadder to me the the number of games that are just, in my mind, classics that people have not played. So, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, people are playing really good games consistently, not just being like, ooh, yay, another Assassin's Creed. It's okay, I guess, is what they say to every Assassin's Creed. I'm being very mean to Assassin's Creed. And I would apologize, but I don't care to to apologize. I'm not going to. Because I... This is how I feel. Serrated Scimitar. None of these are good. I am, however... Overburdened. With money. Mon or stuff. Not money. Stuff. 
Never will you see such fine steel as Retro you Gaming, did you play uh, Thief 4 or the Thief remake? Swords, axes, hammers. We have more Curious who actually has played it. Because it came out, what is it? It was, it was Xbox One, PS4, like around the time that it actually transitioned over into that. And it's just... How can I help you, brother? Just horrible. Uh, get down to 20 of these. Welcome, brother. If you're in need of a weapon, you've come to the Get down to 20 of these. And then an amulet. I don't need that amulet. Never will you see such fine steel as you will in this shop. I am gonna buy some potions though. We have more than enough weapons for everyone. We're good here, okay. Yep. Chilling. Recall potions, very important. Very important. All right. Yeah, we're good. Oh, I was gonna buy potions. I did say that, and then I didn't do it. If you're in need of a weapon, you've come to the right place. Ooh. Wait a minute. Ring of protection plus three for three thousand. Nani. Perfect. Perfect. Steel as you will in this shop. Uh, ring of what was it plus three? It said. I mean, why not? Swords, axes, hammers. We have more than enough weapons for everyone. I'll take both. Why not? Let's go. Yeah, ringed up amulet of protection. I think I want an amulet of strength. Welcome, brother. If you're in need of a weapon, you've come to the right place. We have amulets of strength, yes? Yes, we do. Never will you see such fine steel as you will. Intellect. Mm. Swords, axes, mm. hammers. We have more than enough weapons for everyone. We'll do the strumpf. And then sell that. Perfect. We're good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. And then my stats are what? Not bad. Not bad. Take this off. Yep, strength goes down one. It's the armor, yeah? Armor goes up with these. Got it. Perfect. Perfect. Recall back. Love that. Love that feature. If every game just had this feature, it'd be way better. Any kind of like loot and grind kind of game needs to have this feature. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how good this is. It sucks that it's bound to a potion, but like, eh, eh, I'll deal with it. I can deal with it. Oh man. Woo. This week has been not stressful is not the right word. Cause it's not really been stressful. It's just been, there's like more happening than I kind of anticipated there would be, unfortunately. So, again, not necessarily in a bad way, just kind of like a, oh, hmm, I kind of thought I was going to have more time than I actually do, which is a little unfortunate, but, you know, we do what we can. It's all good. Amulet. So it's a little, it is a little annoying though, especially when like I have like things that I want to do and like I had just like a nice fun, relaxing, well, relaxing is not really the right word, fun time at Universal. That was pretty chill, pretty cool. Got to ride some Harry Potter rides, you know, the usual, no big deal, pretty fun. But then to come back from that, entering into, oh yeah, by the way, there's a lot to do. Enjoy. Yeah, but like... I could also not do a lot of this stuff. It'd be even better. But 
It is what it is. It is what it is. Burning Eye Summit East. Sure. Why not? I gotta say, Night Ride on the new Harry Potter roller coaster, newer one. The one that, uh, the Hagrid's one. Oh man. The Night Ride on that is awesome. Really enjoyed that. It's like a really low to the ground, like motorbike kind of thing. No flips or anything. But because it's so low and so fast and there's these launch points, you're like in the middle of these, like in the middle of woods. And so you're like flying around these corners. It feels like you're actually like, you know, on a magical motorbike flying through the woods. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Whack, 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 whack. I also received, I ordered a physical copy of the uh, Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater Switch release. Because as much as I would like one on the Wii U, don't think I'm going to find one of those. Don't do that. But also, unfortunately, they didn't release a physical version in my country because they hate us. So luckily, the Switch is not region locked so i was able to grab i think it was it's an asian copy like east asian i think like japanese it's not it's not officially like the japanese copy but ooh, this guy's big chunky 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 but anyway now i have that physical version pretty happy with that Pretty happy with that. Underrated game, in my opinion. Quite underrated. Pretty fun. Pretty spooky. Probably gonna do it for spooky season. Probably gonna do it for spooky season. Which I am, yes, I am already planning out. You are correct. You heard correctly. Padded armor. I keep giving me padded armor. I don't need, don't need that. I have the best armor. <gasps> no. I found a torch. I found a torch for something. My brother. A fine hand axe plus one. What's up, dude? Don't do that. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't pick up rocks. Don't pick up rocks. That's what happens when you pick up rocks. I should have known. I can sell that. I know I can sell it. Okay, I think we got one of the things. Still can sell it. Worth a pretty penny. Not bad. These levels are just the right size, too. Like, they're they're big enough to where, like, you can kind of get lost, but you're never really, like, lost, lost. Man. They really nailed it. Preliminary estimation of this game, just so we're clear. Four out of five. Boom, boom, boom. What's up? What's up? What's up? Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Five out of fives are five out of fives don't don't come around very often. Five out of five games are very hard to come by. And they should be. If every game was 5 out of 5, nothing would be perfect. Or nothing would be unique. But if we are sparing with them, then they're more impactful. Ah. See? I also gotta say, going to a theme park... As an adult, very different experience. Like, very, very different experience. And do what I want, within reason. Buy what I want. Not even within reason, just I can buy whatever I want. 
and kind of set my own schedule. It's pretty neat. Again, within reason, because I am there with other people. But like, again, to be able to just be like, hey, we're going to go here. Y'all can go that way if you want. We'll meet up later. Because the only other times I've been to uh, like theme parks or amusement parks, I went once when I was in my like 20s, like early 20s with my family. But other than that, I've, I've only gone with my wife and some friends. Very different experience to go with your family versus essentially, you know, just as an adult, you can choose your own stuff. Very, very, very interesting. Or just not even interesting, just different. I'm not going up there yet. I don't even want to. I want to go over here. Because I feel like it. Because I'm a dwarf man. 169. Nice. <laughs> nice. Hoping to be able to beat this game by sometime next week. Pretty sure we can. Pretty sure we can. Might need to pick it up a little bit, but... Oh, the ice levels. Kill the ads, kill the small ones first. Yeah. Padded armor. Don't really need arrows. Boop, boop, boop. Come here. Nice, 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 nice. Brightness is a little, little crazy here. We'll do that. Oh, recall potions. Don't pick up that garbage when I'm around. Marr. Keep trying. Yes. Boy, the crits are coming in crucial, though. I'm actually noticing a decent amount of crit hits, which is pretty awesome, because I'm at, what, one out of every five? Yeah, I'm at one out of every five at the moment. Soon to be one out of every four. I might not even need to. Boop, boop, boop. Where is it? We have another dwarf friend that has died up here, I'm sure. Yeah? Gotta be. Boom, 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 boom. I'll let him kill him for me. Boom, boom. Nope. Yeah, let's go. Never gets old. Never gets old. The hacking and slashing. And again, I think this game is short enough that it's not going to get old, which is great. Because the problem is modern games would take this and go, oh, okay, this loop is solid. Let's make this last as long as possible. I don't think it's the point. I think if you make a solid experience with just the right amount of length, then people will, people will replay it if it's fun. That's what I think. It's a crazy concept, I know. Bold, some might say. Bold. I stand by it. I stand by it. Boop. 
Come here. What, what, what. What, what, what. Padded boots. I mean, I don't need those, but I will take them because they do look drippy. Give me your body. Let's go. Studded leather gloves plus three. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. No reason. Ooh, kill this man's. Oof. Hello, Cat Paul. Welcome in. We're, we're moving forward, making it happen. How are you? War Hammer of Disruption. Let's level up some. Eight points. Eight points. That's five. That makes it one out of four. Hmm. Buddy bumped my capture card and caused it to disconnect. Of course. Of course. Hmm. Two streams in a row were disconnected? Oh no. Oh no. Not ideal. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We'll do that. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Uh, you know what? We'll do... Last time it was your fault. This time it's not. Exactly. Yep. Yep. How it goes. Criticals all the way up. We did it. We'll go targeting. We'll go targeting. Clan Gideon's fist. And then. How am I? How was Universal? Universal was pretty awesome. I was just talking about how, like, going there as an adult is a very different experience than going uh, like as a child with someone else, like with your parents or something or with your family. It's just a very, very different experience. Chain boots. Let's go. Studded leather gloves plus three are better than what I have, so we'll use those. I did get to ride um, the... Oh, what's it called? There's a new, like, Harry Potter, like, Hagrid's motorbike ride. It popped up a couple of years ago. And I got to ride that at night, which was super cool. Like, super cool. Very much recommend that. It's, like, really low. Uh, the way I was describing it is, like, it's really low, and, like, you're gonna, like, go on a motorbike, like, going through the woods. But, like... Because of the way that, like, it works at night, the perspective is so, it's so dark that you literally are, like, flying through this forest at, like, 50 miles an hour. It's so cool. Never will you see such fine so cool. In this shop. Do I keep this? Mm. Swords, axes, in Japan, there's a place where you can zip onto the Godzilla's mouth. I'm not going to say that I definitely tried to figure out where I could do that in Japan and didn't find it. But I definitely did try and find it, and I couldn't, and it, I felt bad about it. But it was, you know, I, I have heard of it. I have heard of it. Amulet, no, no. So much cash. What I want to buy from him? Did I want to buy anything from him? That. Welcome, brother. Or this. Heard it yesterday. I told the server you should, go, you should go to Japan. You really should. It's it's cool, for other reasons. Mithril scimitar plus. I can almost buy that. Wait a minute. Hold on. That is fifteen thousand eight hundred fifteen eight. I have fourteen four. I mean, you know, it's like. Ten to thirty-one, 
and this puts it at 21 to 27. Ooh. Never will you see such fine steel as you will in this shop. And I think this is one-handed, so I can actually equip a shield with it. Swords, axes, hammers. We have more than enough weapons for every... Or I can just save up for this. I'm a dwarf. What am I talking about? I'm going to use scimitars. What is this? I'm a dwarf. How can I help you, brother? You can't do anything for me. <laughs> Kappa, what were you streaming? I assume some sort of Tales game or Kingdom Hearts again. But, you know, that is an assumption. Birth by sleep still. Okay, perfect. I was right on the money. Oh, it's still Aqua Story, of course. It was Aqua Story last time. It's always going to be Aqua, Aqua Story until it's not. Of course. Boom, boom, boom. The crit damage is crazy. Yeah. Now, Catpaw, I have a confession. I did make a purchase recently of a long-running RPG franchise. And I decided, you know what? I've heard enough good things about this game. I may as well go ahead and try it. Now, it's not what you think it is because it's not a Kingdom Hearts. It's not a Tales game. But I did buy East 8 because I've heard nothing but like amazing things about it and I wanted to try it Drawful's not here so I'm safe there you go good good choice okay good that's what I've heard That's what I've heard. Oh, I need to buy potions. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm like dead. How many potions do I have? None. Great. <laughs> Dope. Okay. Well, potion time. That was the game telling me, by the way, you can buy this cool sword, but you really need to buy some potions. Yep, so I bought uh, Ease, Ease 8, Lacrimosa of Donna. I've heard nothing but great things. I did get the, um, what's it called? The PS4 version. Uh, I heard that the Switch version's okay, but... I mean, like... Come on. Like, what am I, what am I gonna buy? We buy the Switch version? Come on. I think I just need to get rid of all of these. I don't need these at all. Get that down to 10. I just don't need these. I just don't use these. I need a lot of healing potions. Don't need that. Did, didn't even realize that I picked that up. That's fine. Hmm. How can I help you, brother? I mean, like, do I really? Yeah, I think I do need that. Dang it! I don't want to keep the bow, but I kind of feel like I need the bow. Ah, beans. Ah, beans. All right, all right, all right. All right, you twisted my arm. That's fine. Have you played? I think we talked about this a lot, Catball. But you've you've not played East, correct? East eight or East nine? Maybe I'm wrong. I've heard East 9 is actually pretty great. Again, from people that I trust surrounding that discussion. All right, let's kill the Wampas. You have him, but you want to? It looks it looks like a cat paw game. Like, it really looks like a cat paw game. Action combat. 
good RPG, JRPG story. I was like, why not? I'll tell you something. If it's anything like Trials of Mana, I'm in. Because that, ge that game was way better than I thought it was going to be. The PS4 version of Trials of Mana was really good. That man sniped me. What up? What up? You want to play uh, East 8 specifically or any of the East games? I need more RPGs in my life? Stop it. You're lying to me. That's a lie. It's a lie from Satan. No, thank you. Any of them? I've heard that the ninth one's pretty, actually, like, pretty good, but from what I've, all the, my RPG nerds are like, no, 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 if you're going to play one, pick up East 8. So I was like, fine. Y'all said it, not me. Spite Fine Club of Disruption is what it said. Did I read that right? All right. Not bad. Well, I got to say, Capal, if you're looking to get into any of them at the moment, if you don't already have them, I would recommend picking them up now, uh, especially East 8. I think East 9 you can actually still find at a pretty decent price, but East 8's kind of starting to shoot up some, which is why I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. So I was like, mm, I'd rather not decide to play this game when it's like 90 bucks. I don't, I'm not saying you have to do it like right right now, but like I would say probably within 2022. Or just be content with getting it secondhand for way too much money. These guys are tough. T up. Rachel is downstairs watching her K dramas. Which makes me laugh so much. Makes me laugh so much. You have a look at the night. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. There is a cave here. Huh. Everything's a lot of money in Canada. Facts. I feel like I need some sort of like flaming something. I feel like I'm using a, a frost thing and like it's doing okay. But it's not doing what it could. This is how it feels. This looks important. Ah, the signal tower. Of course, of course. Yeah. Speaking of Canada, I have uh, started watching, well, started re-watching one of my favorite sketch comedy shows out of Canada, The Kids in the Hall. It's a very, very Gen X and, like, millennial thing, but I love it. It's hysterical. They're ultra-Canadian. Ultra-Canadian. Every time that every time they say sorry, I'm like, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. I'm not watching the reboot. They just recently rebooted it. And I'm not thrilled with it because it's not that good. The sir watch a bit of the, the new one or the old one? Because the old one I can get down with. The new one's pretty bad. Man, snipe me again. The new one, okay. Yeah, it was it's just not the same. 
but I was watching through the old one and like season season one episode three is just an absolute choice episode not your cup of tea I can't imagine based on our limited interaction cat Paul I I can imagine probably not for you doesn't seem like exactly your kind of thing which is fine not a problem it is it is my cup of my cup of tea though I think it's hysterical at least the news the the old stuff not all the old stuff some of the old stuff is just brilliant some of it's just kind of stupid but you know what are you gonna do complain you know Boop, boop, ba doop. Okay, well, y'all been uh, watching anything recently? Any new shows? New cool things like that? Spiked Morningstar, you say? Not bad. I mean, it's not 10 to 31, but you know. It's not bad. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Not watching, but the sir has been playing a lot of Tetris. Oh, really? The one on Game Pass, uh, Tetris Effect. Tetris Effect is, is like a 5 out of 5 game. I mean, that game is all just unbelievably fun. Unbelievably fun. And the one on Xbox is 4 player, I believe. It's even more fun. Oh, he played with two of his friends? See, that's the way to do it. Tetris Effect with two, with like a couple of buddies is just like choice. Absolutely choice. Before I got rid of Game Pass, I did that too. Well, it was only with one, with, uh, one other person, but it was still a lot of fun. I'm sure. That game is amazing. Die, yellow man. Yellow goblin thing. Whatever that is. Ooh, what's up here? Secrets? Secrets? Mm. Watching wise though. Movie wise. Oh, you watched the new Matrix? Oh no, how'd that treat you? I've heard nothing but bad things, but maybe I'm wrong. What about the uh what about Doctor Strange? You've seen the new Doctor Strange movie? An ice cave. Boy, I can really hear this thing now. Oh, hey, dude. Brother, are you from Easton? Are you here to help us? There's no time for that. You need to light the signal fire atop the burning eye, or else the clan will be butchered by those dark hells as soon as they find a way out of the mines. You think you liked it more than the server, but you're not a huge Matrix fanatic? Oh, you didn't know that uh, the the new Doctor Strange movie was going to theaters? Oh yeah, it's in theaters. Yeah. I don't have it. Oh come on. Dragon atop the peak. An ice, ice dragon? dragon? It froze the one holding the key in the block of ice. You'll need to light the signal fire to get to his body. Oh. Spelling is bad lately, like 10 out of 10 bad the past two days. Me bad. I mean, what else is new, Cat Paul? That's why we like you here. Watchtower. Find them and get it from them. Take this flask from me. You'll need it to fuel the flames. 
All right. Thank you, I have the other two pieces already. Of our people rest on your shoulders. You can die now, Colgrim. But I do want your cool sword. Nope. No, don't want to give it to me. Since we don't have satellite or catch a lot of commercials, I don't know what's coming out anymore. But it's on the internet, right? This looks important. Yeah. But you know, that's all right. The good news is you can still see it. It's still in theaters. And it's pretty good. At least I think it's pretty good. Do you think this guy would be mad if I used like a recall potion directly in front of him and like left to go to the village that could probably save his life and then come back without anything to actually save his life? Yeah, let's do that. All right, I'm going back to town. Bye. I could give you one, but I'm not going to. Bye. <laughs> Never will you see such fine steel as you will. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. These are selling for a pretty good, uh, pretty good amount of money. Not mad about it. The movie theater in town is pretty old, so the sir likes to go to Sirwood Park. Okay. What is that? It's like the fancy theater. I assume. Takes time. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's a bit away, I assume. If you're in need of a weapon, you've come to the right place. I have 20,000. So close to one of these. Oh, the comfy suit ones? Ooh, I, lo I do love those. I do love a great sword of speed for 26. Never will you see such fine steel. This one does sell for four. Does sell for four. Just under an hour away. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Joe Cool. I'm hoping uh, with Black Isle Studios teasing a screenshot of Dark Alliance 2 with a different character every two days. The game is about to release on current systems. That would be amazing. Joe Cool. So, so, so cool. Also, welcome. We're having fun with this one. Playing it on a uh, backwards compatible PS3 that you can probably hear if you listen real close. It's so loud. But it looks so good. Plays so well. Can't help it. Welcome back. I fear you had met the same fate as Colgrim and his band. Oh, did he did he die? He just looked like he, like he sat by it. He's just like, oh. That news grieves me. Please. If you can find a way to light the signal fire, mm -hmm. you must do so. Before we can think of opening the mines, we must know reinforcements are on the way. True. The band with Colgrim carried the material needed to light the fire with them. I've already got it. If you can find them in the mountains, then maybe you can get what you need to light the fire from them. All right, we got it. Let's go. On our way. <laughs> Too bad the PS3 I have isn't backwards compatible, or I would play it play it on that rather than on the ancient PS2 I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I really like this thing. It's it's just so dang loud, and I need to like tear it down and put new like thermal paste on it to make it sound like make it way 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 cooler than it actually because it's also very hot but i don't know it's just such a process i don't mind playing on a ps2 uh but i also have like a crt that i can plug it into like an old tube television so it works a lot better or it looks it feels like it's supposed to you know but yeah if i was playing on like an actual like an hd tv without something like this i wouldn't i probably wouldn't do it either I probably wouldn't do it either. Although you can play this well. Well, they did remake it or not remake it. Remaster it. Remaster it. All PS3s have some degree of backwards compatibility. That's true. Every PS3, <clears throat> every PS3 in existence can play PS1 games. Every single one. Even the Super Slim. Ah. <sighs> 
I've run plenty of backwards compatibility games on a standard non-BC PS3. Oh, nice. Do you mean like, like the PS1 stuff or like PS2s? Because eventually they got rid of the, like, uh, they got rid of any PS2 emulation at all. Because it was, so this version actually has the Emotion Engine chip in it, which is really cool. And Retro Gaming Denmark, I'm sure you're already aware of this. Um, you know, but it's pretty cool. You just need to put a custom firmware on it. Oh, I see. So it's using the different firmware to do it. I got it. I got it. I got it. So it's essentially kind of tricking. It's essentially taking the software emulation that they were using on the second model of the fat PS3s within the custom firmware, I assume. Because that's interesting. That's interesting. Do I have... Hold on. Do I, do I have potions? Okay. Kind of. I kind of have potions. We'll see. Oh, the classics. I see. That's it. That's really interesting. Retro gaming. That's really interesting. I did not know that they, they'd come that far with that level of firmware. Fascinating. Uh-oh. Hey, bud. What's your deal? Oh, all right. Got it. Leave you alone then. Sure. No, I can do. Yep. Nope. That's fine. I'm not going to do that there. That's a horrible idea. Can I shoot them? Yes, I can. PS3 I have was my brother's and he got it in your launch, I think. Uh, is it a is it a big fat one or is it kind of a, a slim one? You hate the lighting ball enemies? Me too. Me too. Gives me an excuse to use my ranged weapons though, that's nice. The Joe Cool is that is that one of the big the big fat PS3s? Because those actually also have some level of uh Backwards compatibility, just not nearly as uh, as extensive. But if it's a slim model, then those just have the uh, PS1. And then apparently, according to Retro Gaming Denmark, you can actually just put in custom firmware, which is really cool. Didn't even know you could do that. They are a pretty, pretty imaginative enemy. They really are. I mean, it, you know, it's all Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Still pretty cool. Still pretty cool. What's what's better, the lightning ball enemies or the uh, the oozes, the cubes? I like the cubes. First time I saw a cube, I did not enjoy myself, which is the perfect, perfect example of a great enemy. Just disgusting, horrible, wretched. Loved it. The US backwards compatibility models, the early ones had even more PS2 hardware in them. True. The BC we got in Europe later, and which is the one I have, have less PS2 hardware than in the original, than the US BC model. Good gracious. I forgot about that. Yeah, that is a jungle. A full, complete crapshoot. You're even going to get one that can, that can use stuff. So was it always like... Full backwards compatibility. Looking for a fat or f fat, P H A T, four USB. Yes. No more, arrows. no more arrows. Fine, I'll smack this thing with my sword. It's way easier to do anyway. Should just been doing that from the beginning. Well, not that easy. Yeah, that's the one that I have. It's the one that I'm currently playing on. 
is one of the uh, fat ones with four USB ports. I actually found it on uh, on like a like Craigslist. Someone I was essentially getting rid of. It was their boyfriends, their ex boyfriends, I assume, because they were like, "I don't want it. First one to come here gets it." And all it said, all it said on the ad was PS3, twenty bucks. I was like, okay. Well, why not? So I went and just rolled the dice, met them at a, uh, oh, geez, get out of here. Met them at a, uh, what's it called? Fire station. They just handed it over. <laughs> I was like, do you know if it works? They're like, nope. Have fun. I don't want it. I was like, okay. Fair enough. Jeez. All right, fine. I'll recall. Let's go. Still 20. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay. One of those. Welcome, brother. Got it. In need of a weapon, you've come to the right place. I unfortunately need several of these. Never will you see such fine steel as you will in this shop. So there we go. Yeah, I got really lucky. Really lucky with it. <laughs> Literally, they're like, this is my boyfriend's. I don't want it. Take it. 20 bucks. Didn't come with a power cord. Didn't come with any controllers. Just was the console itself. But I uh, took it to a buddy of mine who cleaned stuff up like that up. And he looked at it and was like, this is a pretty solid one. Helped me kind of clean it out. And uh, been rolling it. Running with it. I did play several games on it. Like, on the, you know, played it as a PS3 for a while. Uh, but then I ended up, it just got way too hot and I was like, I'd rather not have it explode. You know, you can get, uh, you can get one with a normal PS2. Yeah, exactly. You can get by with a quality, a normal PS2 and a, uh, quality upscaler. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been very helpful. Plus, as you guys are saying or seeing, it's just so pretty, so pretty, so worth it. So worth it. The problem with the upscalers a lot of times is they're they're normally not amazing. I will say if I get like a like a retro tink 2x or a 2x pro or something like that, I guess 5x at this point. Um, my entire chain is like all my retro AV chain is all S video. So I could theoretically just take it into S video and upscale it uh, or line double it to uh, I think 960. It would actually look pretty decent, but I don't know. I don't know. So pretty in the game is, yeah. You have the two X's? Okay. They're good. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've considered using that instead of like uh, backwards compatible consoles, but like I have an Xbox, an Xbox One X for like Xbox backwards compatibility stuff, which is pretty great. And then I had this for PS3 stuff, or PS2 stuff. If you need me to shout, I'm going to do the addition start supper. You shall be listening. Have fun, Capo. Yeah, it works. It works. That's the whole thing. Until it doesn't, and, and you know, at which point I, I will need to to buy one, so we'll see. <laughs> but it, it definitely functions at the moment. Oh, Retro Gaming Denmark, I asked uh, a little bit uh, a little bit ago, did you actually get a chance to, uh, did you ever play the Thief remake? That's a cool visual glitch. So you said you do a lot of this video. Yeah, my entire Retro AV setup is uh, a, uh, S video based. I just think it looks a lot better. And I, I would like to go into component and like RGB stuff, but like none of my, my equipment uses that at the moment, but I can do S video, so... Figured it's a good compromise. I was so angry about it that I forbade myself to play it. I do own it digitally. Amazing. Amazing. 
true, true thief gamer right there. I'm glad you said it sucks because now I will never give it a chance. I would say that you should still give it a chance, but honestly, you probably shouldn't. Just if I'm being honest, you probably shouldn't. It's really bad. It's not even like bad in a sense of like, it's like the worst game I've ever played. It's just so boring and it could have been so much cooler and they just it made it, they just made it boring. It's the most bland game I've ever played, which is worse, you know? Like somehow it's worse than the game being like absolutely broken and unplayable. It's just boring. And like the whole point to me of like the original Thief game was like that, that crazy emergent gameplay of like, oh, I need to sneak past these guys. And how do I do that? And where do I need to go? And in this one, it's it's very much like a go into the, the governor's area and sneak past this exact way every time. It's like, well, that's not fun. You know, like like in the first one, you have the uh, the rope arrows that can just stick into wood, like any wood surface. In Thief Remake, they can only be attached to wood that has white wrapping around it. For reasons. So stupid. It's always on sale, always the cheapest game on sale every month. They're dumping it, yeah. They're trying to get something. Yes, the rope arrows, yes. They're, they're, oof. The fact that they limit... The fact that they limit where you can put them is just like, you've missed the point. Yeah, don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, I do not think you would enjoy it. Oh. Well then, I thought there was something up here. You trust my taste? That's A. Listen. High praise. Thank you. Thank you. You've, you've only seen me play this game for like four hours. But I appreciate it. The, the high, high, uh, high level of responsibility. I don't take it lightly. I feel like I have a very, very, very refined palette. I do, however, plan on playing a lot of Dark Mod in the future. What is Dark Mod? Remind me, remind me what that is. Open source thief with only fan. Ooh! When I insert a PS2 disc in the PS3, it says that it's not supported. Oh, gotcha. That's your answer. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Unfortunate, Joe. That's all right, though. It's all right. Okay. Can I... Can I recall back? I think I can. Hmm. Uh... Hey, bud. How can I help you, brother? Yeah, uh, how's this dude? What's up? What's up, friendo? Ah, I saw the signal fire a light upon the slopes, and you have brought the key. But tell me, did any of the dwarves from the expedition survive? Nope. Skills, patience, and time. That's the last one's the thing I have issues with is I don't always have the time for it. More deaths our enemies shall answer for. You have done enough, brother. No need for you to risk yourself for the clan any longer. I wish to enter the mines. Very well, then. I'll not argue with one with fire in the eyes such as you. It won't be as good as it will not be as good as this and the reason it won't be is because This is basically just a ps2 in a ps3 A few titles will run perfectly probably the ones that are like the classics like you said RGD that'd be my assumption Today was the third character in Dark Alliance 2 shown and the only five and only five in the game plus two secret characters. So I'm predicting next week release would be amazing if it was Friday in time for my birthday. That that would be awesome. 
That'd be also also happy early birthday. Isn't it fun when stuff like just like works out like that though? I love that kind of stuff. Okay, cool. Cool, need a map for that. Great. Great. And they just released that uh that new Evil Dead game last weekend. I guess last Friday. And they released it on Friday the 13th, which is just amazing. Just amazing. Look at all these wolves that I've killed. What's up? What's up? I also still maintain that, like, the pacing, like, the movement of this game, or in this game, is almost perfect. You're, you, I never feel stuck. I never feel like I'm just, like, randomly slogging through. There's always something moving. New Evil Dead game, any good? I've heard good things. I, I'm probably going to pick it up. Uh, it's a it's an asynchronous multiplayer game. So it's a, a 4v1 kind of situation. Four characters, or four, four people play as uh, human survivors. And then one person plays as one of three demons. And the demon, like the, you know, Kandarian demon, uh, their whole goal is to kill the the humans because that's, you know, what you do. But the way that they do it is actually a lot more interesting than some games like, you know, Dead by Daylight or stuff like that, in my opinion. And most importantly, I think, is the, uh, the human characters can actually, seems like they can actually fight back which is really fun because a lot of those games prey on you having to like be stealthy and like stealth can, you know, stealth is whatever. But I don't know. It looks pretty sick. I wonder if the game could be beaten on extreme wielding only the onyx sword, no armor. This game. Ooh. Eat their souls. End quote. Yes. Yes. Uh, Joe cool. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm, I am by no means an expert on this game. I will. I can tell you that now. This is not the first time that I've played the game, but this is the first time that I intend on actually beating, fully beating the game. Uh, I played this game back when it like originally came out, maybe a year after it came out, uh, with a buddy on his PS2. Oh, geez, I think it must have been like a Saturday night or something like that. We just spent like the entire night playing, and it was really fun, but we never actually beat it. And then I never went back and picked it up until years later. I found it for really cheap, and now I'm streaming, and I was like, why not? I should beat this game. It looked, it's really fun. I remember how great it was. And I was not wrong. This game, yeah, it does have... Yeah, that's how we played it. It was super cool. Super cool. I've seen some people uh, set up, like, PC2SX uh, with... Uh, what's it called? Crap, what's it called? I don't know if this one had online. It may have had online, but I doubt it. 2001. No, no online. Um, but yeah, that's what I was going to say. Oh, it's Parsec. I've seen some people use Parsec to set up an emulated version of this game on their computer and then have somebody else use Parsec to play it with them. Which is pretty sick. It's kind of like a like fight cade or something like that where you're like you're running a version of like a fighting game on your computer and then someone else connects to you and just plays it with you super sick super duper sick where am i going he said something okay go to the mining camp it's not here parsec yes it is pretty good it's like surprisingly good actually works really well. It's not ideal for a lot of games, but like for some like older co-op games, it works surprisingly well for an old uh, streamer you watch uses it. OK. Would that be Tatsu? Maybe. 
<laughs> I'll never tell. Where am I? Where am I going? Hold on. Where am I going? You can also use the direct land cable. You throw it. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Let me know. Hey, let me know when it when it fully drops. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. <laughs> I'm not even sure the signal would go that would would work over that distance. Playing the PS3, the screen will sometimes get glitchy if I'm not in the correct input when I boot the system. Ooh, fun. Joe Cool. Wow, that is a... Uh, that PS3 has seen some better days, it sounds like. It wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know, just get a, just add, add in a couple of signal boosters along the way. It's probably be all right. Probably be all right. Just a few signal boosters. I feel like I'm going the complete wrong direction. Yeah. Yeah. The mines aren't up here. They're they're back in the camp the other direction. What am I doing? What am I doing? Fool. Small detail I like about this game. Tell me. Tell me the small detail. It's this way, yeah? Even though the PS2 has very little memory, it remembers the exact location of each slam beast. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna... Yeah. That's super duper cool. Because, like, we haven't been back here since beforehand very 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 cool and all the all the uh loot stays exactly where it was brilliant brilliant The PS2, like, as as much as I think the PS2 really screwed up Sony's, like, understanding of the video game market, it's pretty... pretty amazing. I would be open to modding the PS3, planning to homebrew on my 3DS eventually with the closure of the eShop coming next year. Yeah, for real. For real. I also got lucky. Well, lucky is, is not the right word. I kind of planned out for that happening. Uh... A couple years ago, I was going through and just basically I just bought up uh, a lot, a lot of the like rarer games that I that I really wanted to play. Uh, I found them for like cheap at like local GameStops and stuff, and my goodness. Some of those games are just absurd at this point. Like, I found uh, WarioWare Gold on clearance, brand new for 15 bucks. That game's like, what, 90 bucks at this point? Price chart. Softmind of PS3 has so much to offer. I, have, I agree. Softmind of any everything has really got a lot to offer. WarioWare Gold. Uh, l complete in box version of where you were gold is 45 bucks. It's crazy. Also saves wear and turn your laser, keeps the system quieter. That's the kind of stuff I want to do on my Dreamcast. I, I want to take, I want to put an ODE into the, into the Dreamcast like really bad. Cause like the Dreamcast is just so loud. 
So my PS2 games are worth a hundred to three hundred dollars. It's crazy. I know. And what's what's I, like I don't mind that. Like as a collector, I really don't mind games costing that much money. But I think my problem is sometimes the games that are, that cost that much money aren't worth it. Ooh. We have an ad running. I'll wait. I'll continue my conversation in a minute. I'll continue the conversation in one mem un moment. Memento. You're a flea market look guy. See, that's how I do it. That's how I do it. Like I prefer doing that. Because like it's, yeah, I think it's more fun. Number one, I think it's more fun. And number two, like finding games like that. Finding games that are worth that much money for so cheap is just so satisfying. But I get so my my whole thing was my whole thing with games being that price is that I think my main problem is like very rarely do they actually end up needing to cost that much money. You know what I mean? Like some of the rarer games on the NES aren't even really that good. You know? Which is not to say, like, you know, that doesn't really necessarily mean they shouldn't cost as much money as they do. Again, Little Samson might be an exception. Little Samson's actually amazing. But, like, the Flintstones game? Really? That game sucks. I've emulated that game. That game sucks. Hard disks on PS3 or plug-and-play. Joe, you can open a slot on the side and replace it with another side of the drive. Yep. PS3 is exactly right. Exactly right. I did that when I, both of the ones that I have, I bought a larger hard drive and popped it right in. <laughs> Never take the time to check out a flea market. They are very hit and miss at this point. They are very hit and miss at this point. There was a time. There was a time when they were like a magical place where you could find video games for just the cheapest of all time. But I want to say around, at least in the States, around like 2015, 2014, 2015, it started getting a lot harder to find good deals because I think other people like picked up on it. Maybe it's even 2013, 2014. Um, but it is what it is. Sometimes sometimes you can find stuff. Sometimes you can't. I found a uh, copy of Kirby Air Ride uh, at a yard sale for five bucks, maybe 15 bucks. That game's that game's awesome. Love that game. Found my copy of Drake's uh, Uncharted 3 for a dollar and a half, I think. You're still lucky. You visit places with lots of recently grown up children. And you always ask, yes. Yes, you gotta ask. You gotta ask. It's so funny. One of the uh, YouTubers I watch, uh, Metal Jesus Rocks, uh, Retro Gaming, you may have, you may have, you may also watch him, but he's always talking about like, whenever you go places, you just gotta, always gotta ask. I started watching him back in like 2011. I think it was one of his Hidden Gems videos, and I was like, oh yeah, this guy gets it. But he's, he's got some really good tips. He always cracks me up, too, because he'll have people, like, donate to his channel. And it'll be, like, the rarest thing of all time. They'll be like, oh yeah, you can just keep it. You watch him and he is correct, yes. Yeah, some of my, some of my favorite finds at uh, yard sales or similar things have been like that Kirby Air Ride game. I was really excited about that one. Um, I can't, I think I found another, I think I found not Suikoden 2, but no, no, it was a buddy of mine found Suikoden 3 uh, loose for, I think it was based, I think they gave it to him for free, essentially. They were just like, oh yeah, we have this, we don't want it, take it. And he didn't, he didn't want it, so he uh, ended up giving it to me, which was cool. But like, there, there's just certain games where like, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for them. And if I find them, I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. What's the, what's it called? Like a Holy Grail game? Oh man. Finding a game like that is just 
the rush. The adrenaline rush. So worth it. So worth it. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I think now, I, a while ago, I was looking for PS3 and Xbox 360 games. At this point, I'm actually looking at PS4 and um, PS4 and Xbox One games. I think they're about to start skyrocketing. My best buys were from before collecting games and consoles became a thing, of course. Pick up a Vectrex. Yeah, exactly. I've got some friends who did that too. And like, I got, I got in like right as soon as like stuff started popping off. Although I did get in, I did get in around like, I want to say like 2010, 2011. And that's when I started collecting um, GameCube games. And like, man, am I glad I started doing that like 10 years ago. Because buying GameCube games now is absurd. Just absurd. Got Fire Emblem Path of Radiance for half price after an Xmas sale many years ago at GameStop. I believe it was under $10. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Get out of here, Joe Cool. Are you kidding me? Pretty decent game. Pretty decent game. Not bad, not bad. That's a solid one. That, that, thing's, that thing is like, what, 350 bucks now? That game's nuts. My biggest regret, soldiers are 103, solid, solid. My biggest regret of all time, this is before I like started collecting games, like keeping them around. I was one of those guys who would do uh, the whole trade, trade in stuff at GameStop or places. And my brother wanted to get an Xbox 360. Wasn't your kind of game, that's fair. I remember my brother wanted an Xbox 360 and we had a bunch of GameCube stuff. And my brother, for whatever reason, wanted, he, he had a game called, uh, I think it was NCAA Basketball 2K3, which is one of the rarest, it might be the rarest game on the GameCube because it specifically because number one, it's a sports game. Number two, it was a college sports game, which they don't make anymore. And number three, it only had like a two month publishing period or a three month publishing period on the GameCube specifically. And for whatever reason, he wanted it during that time. So we had it. And I remember trading it into a GameStop for pennies, like literally nothing. And then later on, I was looking up, like, I, you know, looking at the top most expensive games on GameCube. And I saw that one and I was like, you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. We owned that game and sold it to GameStop for like nothing. I was getting the Fire Emblem fixed at the time. So was you happy? You were happy you found the game? Yeah, I bet. That game rules. For fi If you love Fire Emblem, that game is amazing. <clears throat> well, that game is good. That game is good. Amazing is pushing it. Sold Rule of Rose to Michigan Report for a dollar. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I can commiserate. I can commiserate Retro Gaming Denmark. Oh no, that hurts my soul. Rule of Rose and Michigan Report for a dollar. Oh, oh, oh. Ouch. It's so silly too that like, oh, it wasn't in their it wasn't in their their database, so it's only worth a dollar. It's like, okay, GameStop. For the first 3D Fire Emblem game, it was fantastic. I would agree with that. I would agree with that. What up, boys? Funny thing about Rule of Rose, yes.
They sold it in, in my supermarket. Oh, really? They had like 30 copies? That's where you got it from? Amazing. That's amazing. It's always so funny looking back. So like, I, I have uh, the, my copy of Earthbound. Um, my, like, I got for like my seventh birthday or something because I wanted it. And um, I remember, like, I got it or my mom bought it for me for my birthday. And like, I'm pretty sure it was like complete in box for like 20 bucks or something like that, maybe 30 bucks. And so like, I have like the um, strategy guide and everything. The box was already kind of like busted, but man, I remember seeing cop like just bins filled with earthbound copies. And now it's like, people are like, oh wait, actually that game rules. Uh, yes, I would like a copy, thank you. Cracks me up. Already saved, we're good. Or like walking into like a Funko land and being like, oh look, there's like seven copies of uh, Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. It's like now, People go crazy for that game. I mean, rightfully so. It's a great game. Do I have any super regrets though? No, I don't. I don't think anyone should have like, like again, that the one that I mentioned was probably like my biggest quote unquote regret. But like, it's just a game. Like, it, it's not even a game I was gonna play anyway. So like, whatever. I mainly collect the uh, micro computers now. Game True Society. Oh, that's awesome. That's that's really cool. I've cons I've considered getting into micro computers, but like, the problem is I, I feel like I would need a space to set them up and like, really like get get into them, and I just don't have a space for that. What's your favorite one? Pretty sure my father-in-law would love to start collecting microcomputers, though. I'm not even sure if he knows that's actually like a like a hobby that people still take up, but like I think he would love that. I'm gonna set up one at a time for the hobby corner. Oh, okay, that's fair. That's smart. Well, yeah, but you've got to have a space to store them, though. Yeah. Because they're not. I mean, they're micro, but they're not. They're not like. They're not micro like nowadays. They're like 70s micro. Found something. Oh, a gear, sh a, a shaft gear thing. Is that what it said? Yeah. Under the bed bed rollers. Oh, that's smart. You got You got to figure it out, retro gaming Denmark. You got to. You got to figure it out. It can be done. <laughs> According to my wife, that is a spot for uh, winter clothes. Not more video games or other hobbies things. Because the problem is currently I have to maintain an actual closet full of video game stuff. Literally that entire closet is full of stuff. There's a whole other room that I have set up with like video game stuff. This is this is my office. This is where I work. And then the other room is like a multi-purpose like it can do other it can do many other things, but it's mostly for me to pl actually play video games in. That closet also has a bunch of video game stuff in it and also Magic the Gathering cards and also like PC stuff. I like I like collecting things. I also have a vinyl collection. It's a problem. It's a problem. <sighs> but I respect you. What's your favorite one? What's your favorite microcomputer at the moment? I know so little about them. ZX, ZX Spectrum, Apple IIe, Apple Atari S, ST, MSX2. MSX2, so, okay, I take it back. I do, apparently I know more about this than I thought. Uh, I really, 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 really like the uh, MSX2. I really like the way that that console, that microcomputer worked. It was super cool. ZX was your favorite because it's your first computer? Understandable. Completely understandable. I was convinced that was going to be a, mi a mimic. Uh, but I so I recently this year actually I beat 
Your first own computer? Let's go. Uh, I recently beat this year um, Uninvited and... Uh, crap, what's the other one? Shadowgate on stream. And so I, I played the uh, the Apple II, Apple II color version of Uninvited and had a blast with that. That game really, really holds up. If you can appreciate old text-based adventures, really fun. Had a ZX81 before that. You shared that? Fair. Yeah, no, Uninvited was amazing. Waiting. The GS. Yes, sorry, yes. I think so. I think so. Hold on. Yes. Apple the Apple II GS. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you are correct. Yeah. It's it's awesome. And like what's so what's so funny is like people in chat actually were like, wait, games, this is what games used to be like? Like, yeah, guys, this this is this was it. This is what we dealt with. I remember I remember hanging out with a friend who all they had was an Apple II. And we played like where I, I got first got a, uh, experience with Shadowgate and uh, Uninvited. And I was like, this is kind of tight. This is kind of tight. Oh, what's up, Crisp? Boom. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the game is amazing. Agreed. Fully agreed. Retro gaming didn't work. Crisp, what's up? How's it going? What's what is new? What you been playing? How are you doing? I think I'm just gonna go full crit. You're very very tired. You probably won't be interacting much. You should go to bed. Just go to sleep. How are how are we? We're good. We're good. We're uh, we're out here, making it happen. You know. Like we do. Requires the two-handed axe or, or hammer. See, the problem is I don't have one of those. Parts of the monochromatic version. I also have a Macintosh Classic on which I play something. That's awesome. That's awesome retro gaming then, Mark. Uh, Chris, we're talking about classic games at the moment. We're talking about um, crisp or not crisp. Uh, retro gaming Denmark is uh, a big fan of uh, microcomputers. So we're talking about the Apple II. And the uninvited, the game that I played earlier in the year, it was pretty fun. Kind of tired that sleep isn't really fixing it, which sucks. Ooh, that does suck. Sorry, Crisp. Not ideal. Not fun. You remember that? Yeah, that was funny, right? I I really enjoyed it. I had a blast with it. Uh, I think I just. Yeah, I think I just. Swing faster and do more damage. I <laughs> oh yeah, retro gaming tomorrow. I did. I printed out the uh, the uh, certificate that I, that I received for beating the game and becoming was it the uh, congratulations by defeating the evil enemies that had taken possession of both this mansion and your little brother, you, the great Euk have proven yourself master of the house of Abraxas. It was tight. Oh, for Deja Vu? Deja Vu is really cool, too. I have that game on the Game Boy Color. I have that game. I have, uh, I think it's Deja Vu 1 and 2 on the Game Boy Color. Crazy. You, I'm a filthy liar. I said I'll be back, but I forgot I have plans tonight, so I cannot come back. In fact, I have to go very hectic, so sorry. See you another day. Have fun. Goodbye, Cassie. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your evening. We'll be back another night and we can you can hang out then and say like, hey, what's up? How's it going? But enjoy your night. Don't feel bad. Enjoy that bomb, spider person. Boom. 
Yeah, what's up now? Yeah, yeah, let's go, spider person. Yeah. Also, look at this gold. Look at the gold. I think we need to... Hmm. My strat pushing the barrels around? Listen, I am a pro gamer. Professional gamer. Quintessential, they call me. I'm not. You found one of three shaft gears. Oh, good. All right, well, I found one. Need the other two. Perfect. I've killed everything, so it shouldn't be too hard to find it. I just need to keep an eye out for it. And the first one up there. Okay. Boom. Probably another one over here. If I were to guess, if I were a betting man, it'd be over in, in some direction over here. Like in this, this little cubby corner. You know what I'm saying? We'll see though. We'll see though. Okay, I, I'm glad I didn't bet on it because I was very wrong. Very wrong. And again, if the if this level was any bigger, this would be really annoying. Luckily, it's not that big. So it's not that bad for me to have to walk back. So you are also into MSX2? So the only game I've ever actually played on the MSX2 are, uh, I think, hold on, let me see. I only see, so yeah, I played, I played both of the original Metal Gears on the MSX2, or I guess the emulator of the MSX2, but I had a blast with it. And then I picked up a couple, not picked up, but I tried to play a couple other games. I can't remember what they, what they were. Boo, boo, boo. Uh, I did try, so I, so I, I did, um, oh, dang it, what's it called? What's it called? Come on the Castlevania version for it, Vampire Killer. That was pretty fun. Uh, and then I think also some magical adventure thing. I forget. It was cool. It was cool. It's again, like I have to, I had to emulate all of them. So it wasn't like something that I've really, really dove deep into, but I, I really appreciate older stuff like that. Just cause like, I don't know. It's not nostalgic for me necessarily, but like I, I get it. You would remember the PS3 versus Wii commercial? I don't. Which one are you talking about? I remember how crazy the PS3 commercials were back in the day. They were like genuinely insane. It's a good system. I believe it. I believe it. I think there's just like there's a lot of like micro computer games that. I think actually hold up pretty well, but because they were like, that was such an, an era of like, there were so many different systems and you could really only play or like each version of the, each version of the game was very different or exclusive. There was just such a like, there's so many games that like, for lack of a better term, kind of have been lost. Like a lot of people just don't know, just don't know about them anymore. So I have an appreciation for, uh, you know, experiencing them or at least I guess experiencing them is the best way of phrasing it. Like, I, I want to try them, but I'm not necessarily sure I'm going to go through and, like, fully beat them or, you know, want to go out and buy, like, a ZX2 or a, Z, a ZX Spectrum or, you know, like an MSX2 or something like that. Because I, I also uh, went to Japan a couple years ago and saw the prices of some of them, and I was like, oof. Oof. Maybe not. You get it. I figured. Uh, there's a whole area I missed. Well, no wonder. It's the same thing when people talk to me. They're like, oh, yeah, I just like, I like gaming, but like, I wouldn't buy like a gaming computer, like a gaming PC. I'm like, yeah, I get it. It's just not, it's just not for everyone. That's fine. And that's fine. Boop, boop, boop. 
Like I've got I've got a friend, a buddy of mine, and he just like he talks a lot about how like how he, how much he wants to play games, but then he only has like Mac, which is fine, like not a problem. Or like a PS5, but like PS5 is like such a closed down system, ecosystem, like it, it makes it difficult for us to play stuff together. Luckily, I think Sony is finally figuring out. Aha. Maybe if we open this up, more people will buy our console and we can kind of profit off of people buying other consoles in some weird way. Kind of makes sense. Kind of. Still weird. I don't know. The whole crossplay thing, I think, just should have been a thing 10 years ago. I maintain that. Although I did. So I did work for a company one time. Uh, somebody in here, earlier, I think it was Holden was in here earlier talking about Minecraft. So I worked for a company that uh, wanted, come here. You're on Series X just this gen. I I keep hearing more and more people who are talking about how they're in, like they're on that eco or on that platform more and more than they are of like PS5, like PS5 obviously still out there, but like more and more, I think people are like, actually, I prefer the Series X, which is, again, interesting. Found something. I'm not going to say bad. It's just interesting considering how like, I don't think they've actually sold that well, but I've heard more people talking about the Series X. It switches. Oh no, I know. I'm just saying that like, I, th I think the way people have been talking about the PS5, you would think that it's like, you know, the clear winner, but it's not. Like the PS4, like when, when you know, the PS4 came out, the PS4 was all you heard about. You, all, people were like, oh yeah, I play on PS4 or the 360. You're like, oh, people play on 360 or PS2. People play on PS2. And then there were weirdos like me who were like, but I play on GameCube or actually I had a 360 or, you know, I, I picked up an Xbox One X. Series X is way more feature rich than the PS5, less exclusives, but way better UX. Yeah, that's the thing is like, that's really where I'm struggling to understand why this series is doing as quote unquote as well as I think it is. Because again, there's nothing exclusive, but they have Game Pass and Game Pass is awesome. It's just weird. This is a very unconventional gen. Series X does so many things right. I know. I, I Yeah, absolutely it does. It's the best way to play every game that isn't a Sony title. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. I think that's probably accurate. I think that's accurate. For a console. Yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in console space here. We're not talking about like, you know, PCs and their weird proclivities. I do maintain that uh, PC gamers are generally the, the most, I'm, I'm gatekeeping here. I'm, gatekeep, I'm gatekeeping a little bit. And as speaking as someone who's also a PC gamer, I will say PC gamers have a tendency to be very elite, very elitist. Hold on. Speaking of, I think my PC is all good now. Crisp. Crisp. For real? For real? That's awesome news, Crisp. For me, backwards compat is everything, and it reads all my discs from OG Xbox, Xbox 360, and the upscale of the 4K, auto HDR. VRR and often in enhanced draw distance, etc. Their backwards compatibility team was amazing. Agreed. Agreed. Oh no, I'm Retro Gaming Denmark. Straight up, I have considered buying one for that exact same reason. For that exact same reason. So I'm 100% with you. 100% with you. You didn't really do anything? <sighs> you know, it's like I was saying, it just sometimes it'd be that way. It just be that way sometimes it makes no sense, but I'm, I'm very happy. I know that was the source of a lot of frustration, so I'm glad it's 
at least starting to work itself out. Even if you don't know exactly why. <laughs> Is it that you were playing like, have you just tried, tried different, more different games? Or the games that you had like already were trying just suddenly started working? This looks important. Or, or what? Computers are fickle creatures, yeah. You think that might be it? That you're just playing a lot of other different games? Give me four stuff is still kind of bad, but everything else works fine now. Oh, great. Great. That's awesome. I'm very happy to hear that. I'm very happy. I felt very discouraged after our long discussion. I was like, I have no idea what's wrong with their computer. Literally, literally, I was like, oh, I don't even know what to, what to tell them. They know what they're doing. <sighs> so what's going to be the first game that you beat? Samir, Samir is very helpful. Samir helped me diagnose uh, some issues in the past as well. And I, I'm pretty good with troubleshooting, but Samir sometimes has has that extra step of like, ah, yeah, but did you try this? I'm like, oh, good point. No, I did not try that. That was Samir, yeah. Sure was. Sure was. <laughs> Yeah, that's him. Down to the mine level two. <laughs> you also has a magic touch. He has so many. He does have a lot of different usernames. It actually, it wasn't me this time, Catball. It wasn't just me this time. I I do. I gotta say though, I do have a tendency. I do have a tendency, and my wife will back me up on this. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Sometimes if you complain to Yuke about things, the stuff just kind of fixes itself. This is this is a known thing that has happened multiple times, and it's really weird, and I can't explain it, and I I don't I, I don't know, but genuinely, and my wife can back me up. She will be struggling with something like put hit, hitting a button. It won't work for whatever reason. I will walk into the room. It will start working or she will say, Hey, why does this not work? And then I do it and it works fine. It's very weird. It people don't like me for that. Sometimes it's not my fault. I promise. Okay. So kill the spellcaster. Maybe old Clicky likes you better than me. I mean, maybe. Maybe. JB stands for Jesus back. I'm Jesus. Nice. The electrics don't want to troll you. They try. That's the problem is they they try to sometimes. That's the the thing that really stinks though is when like they do start trying to they do troll me and then I get pissed because I'm like, this normally just works. Why is it not working this time? I can normally just like yell at it and it, it starts working. What's going on? Gives me a false sense of pride, you know? I'm just like, but I know what I'm doing. What's going on? They're like, haha, just kidding. We're fickle. <laughs> I do want to start getting into, uh, I did have a, a just a blast a couple weeks ago, uh, cleaning my controllers on stream. That was super fun. But I do want to start getting into like, I want to get like a soldering kit or a soldering station. Ouch. Oh, thanks for that, bud. Start trying to restore stuff. I think that'd be fun. Happens to me though, when the register's up front, they, they won't work. So I get called up and they magically work. See, there you go. It just depends on what, like what we're talking about. For me, it's computers. For you, it's registers. 
And that's okay. That's all right. Oof. I thought that might happen. Hit, hit, hit her. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful, yes. Ooh! I hit the barrel. Finally, they decided to upgrade to a Series S last November for Black Friday because I was not willing to deal with the hassle of tracking on a Series X. Makes sense. Series S is a good little machine. Surprisingly decent. Still not, like, definitely not for me, but for people who, like, can deal with it, great. It's a great little system. I like repair, uh, repairing things also, microcomputers, soldering. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's, that's kind of what I, you know... I do for fun some. Uh, I haven't gotten into like the soldering level of stuff or like past basic soldering, I should say. Um, never did it on stream though, I'm too absorbed. Yeah, I, I started giving off, I, I felt myself giving off Bob Ross vibes. So I was like really, really into it. Like this is just so calming and chill. It's just mm, amazing. It's underpower underpowered for my taste, but yeah, for people who aren't weird about frame rates and stuff. I don't even care about the frame rates. I care about the fact that it's that is discless. Discless is not a fan for I'm not a fan. That, again, that's just me. After transferring, I have issues and I'm unable to play my 360 tile, sadly. Oh no. That's no fun, Joe Cool. That's no fun. If this if the Series S, if they had like a Series S that had a disc drive attachment to it. I might consider it. I've actually heard that they might actually do that. Wonderful. Look at that. PC is discless. Yeah, PC is discless, but that's that's a different beast. You read that they're going to... Yeah, I also read that they're going to have a, a disc like a disc attachment for the Series S. And if they actually get that, like I, I would consider it. I really think that's a that's a decently solid console. All things considered. Keep keep firing at each other. Yeah, go for it. I'm just gonna let them keep hitting each other. Hey, Chris, how many more weeks until you break down and finally go watch Doctor Strange in theaters? Or are you going to try and hold off? So I, have, I have a sneaking suspicion that you might just be like, you know what? Screw it. And just like go actually watch it. Based on how much you said you like Doctor Strange. Okay, go to theaters. Fair enough. Fair enough. 360 became digital only after I messed up my disc tray and it wouldn't open for pushing the button. Oh, no. Can't go to the theaters. That's fair. If you only have a 1080p TV, then Series S is uh, also the obvious choice. Yeah, I would say so, too. Just wait till digital. That's fair. That's fair. Not saving yet. Kill all the enemies first. Also, I really did not like Moon Knight, so a little MCU break is needed. Oh, man. I apologize for that. I, I thought Moon Knight was fantastic. I appreciate the fact that it had nothing to do with the rest of the MCU. Like, I, I found that very refreshing, but... And also, episode 5 and 6 were so good. Gosh, they were so good. But that's just me. That's just me. Gold. 
Gold, gold, gold. Oh, that's the right, that's the right way. See, I thought the episode five was excellent, and they just did a big CGI fight. Then there was a big CGI fight, but there also was there also was the best fighting of any of the episodes in the actual like fighting between like the way that they've switched from Mr. Knight to Moon Knight and like you actually saw him fighting because I thought the fighting up until episode six was actually kind of bad. But I think they fixed it at the end or to well, in the last episode, I, I should say. And I was like, oh, OK, I thought they were going for something different with this, but nah, <laughs> nah. Nah, if you know, if you kind of understand who like Moon Knight's character, it's it's not a huge departure, which I think is okay. But like, I, I I liked the fighting; I thought it was fine. I still maintain though that Shang Chi has the best fight sequences of any MCU movie. Shang Chi is so good; the fight choreography is so good in that freaking movie. Like, the story is not amazing, but, like, I don't think it needs to be, because, again, like, this fight choreography is just, like, next level. Ooh, these jowers. I think my favorite thing from phase four is Shang-Chi. Oh, nice. You saw No Way Home recently, really enjoyed it. Yeah, I think that movie's uh, pretty great also. Joe Cool. Pretty big fan. Pretty big fan. But I'm also old. So, you know, it's got reasons for old people to like sp the Spider-Man movie. That's me being cynical. Me being a little cynical. <laughs> you really like No Way Home, actually. That might be the Phase Four favorite. That's fair. That's fair. It's tough for me to like do to to rank those things because I feel like most things that come out during the phase, like the later films, end up taking things that the first couple films or pieces did and like making them better. So I, I normally end up saying like the the later thing in a phase is normally my favorite. Normally, not always, but normally. Like, I, again, personally, I really, really liked um, Doctor Strange. I'm not going to spoil it for obvious reasons, um, but I, I really enjoyed it. And that is the most recent thing that has come out. Uh, and then Thor, Thor 4 looks amazing, too. Did I see the She-Hulk trailer? Of course I did. I think the She-Hulk trailer looks like, like, it looks like the show is going to be, like, pretty decent. I'm I'm a little worried about the uh, the quality of the CG and that their uh, that their Marvel production. I'm not uh not sold on the CG in that show as of yet. It's the only thing about it. It's the only thing I know. Some people who are like, "Oh my gosh, I hate it," because I literally saw somebody on Twitter say that the She-Hulk trailer was, and I quote, "SJW trash." Now I'm not gonna go that far, because I don't think it, go, it it goes that far at all. But you know, hey, to each their own, I guess. I will say, however, that I do kind of think that uh, the CG this looks. <laughs> yeah, no, 100% with you, Crisp. 100% with you. Like my my issues with the the trailer were not any implied anything i didn't really understand what these people were talking about to be honest but i did see some people lose their mind about that i was like i'm more concerned about the way that uh tatiana maslany's character looks that's what i'm saying like the mark ruffalo looks good but she looks so bad i don't know what's going on i don't know i don't know it's been all their budget i think they may have all right, so do we go Icy Burst Masterwork Battle Axe plus two or Masterwork Great Sword of Speed? 
feel like we go masterwork of great sort of speed. How can I help you, brother? That's just what I'm thinking in my life, on my journey. Boom. Thank you, Crisp. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go. Boom. Hey, uh, you, the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> you, the guy she tells you not to worry about. Sorry, the guy she tells you not to worry about. I'm done. <laughs> I quit. I quit. I'll see myself out. <laughs> Welcome, brother. Oh, Lord. I just, yeah, let's just, who cares? Let's go for it. Chain stuff, right? Chain mail. Chain gloves. What do I have? What do I have currently? Leather gloves plus three. Chain boots. Scale helmet. So chain helmet. You've come to the right place. Chain helmet. Never will you see such fine I've got chain boots. Man, that elven scale mail though. Elven scale mail is so much less heavy. How can I help you, brother? Jeez. Hmm. Yes, Amy is streaming. Amy is indeed streaming. Let's see. Scale mail is fine. Let's sell this helmet. Welcome, brother. If you're in need of a weapon, you've come to the right place. Leather gloves, chain gloves. Never will you see such fine steel as you will in this shop. Got the chain helmet, got the chain boots. Hammers. We have more than enough weapons for everyone. It's only three better though. I'm not sure that I need that right now. Yeah. I am definitely gonna go with that elven scale mail though. That's crazy. Elven scale mail is only 15 weight. Jeez. Jeez. How can I help you, brother? I'm just gonna go ahead and sell that. I don't need that right now. I don't need that right now. Never will you see such fine steel as you will in this shop. Okay, and I'll buy some potions. Boop, 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 boop. All right. And then we save. Because of course we do. All right, let's test her out. Let's test her out. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Got a new sword. What's up, friend? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's gonna do just right. That's gonna, that's gonna do just right. That's fine. Not a problem at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be just fine. Just fine. Yeah. I think I'll be, that's gonna that's gonna do fine. Not a problem. Woo 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 woo. It's literally cutting through them like butter. Like what? What? Oh, Crisp, I, uh, I beat all of the control DLC. All of it. And it has only made my, only made my excitement for Alan Wake even higher. Alan Wake 2 even higher. I am quite excited about Alan Wake 2 now. 
Ooh, man. Be mean to you should. You really should. It's it's quite good. Again, story wise. Story wise, it's good. Gameplay wise, it's kind of, it's fine. It's more control, so it's not bad. The uh, the extra mechanics they add aren't really anything too groundbreaking, but they're fine. They suffice. It's more control. Nothing wrong with that. Story over gameplay, hundred percent, hundred percent disagree. <laughs> For you, fair. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, something, something large is that direction. I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna go this way. You can't make me go that way, game. I can do what I want. Yeah, look, look at this guy. Shooting arrows. Getting chopped to pieces. Is there something with a great story in May gameplay than vice versa? It depends on how good the gameplay is. I killed him. I'd rather play something with a great story and meh gameplay. Than, than something with great gameplay and meh story. I don't think I could disagree more. I don't think I could, dis I could disagree more, Crisp. That's okay. The, like, to me, to me, the minute-to-minute -minute action of a game, like, what you're doing consistently... Yeah, yeah. I'm just... I'm, I, th I think so. I think for and the reason I'm saying that, not not to, just very. Well, I, I want to make sure it's clear. I'm not saying that like I'm not driven by narrative. I think I'm thinking to me a great story can help enhance a great experience, but what you were doing 99% of the time in a game is playing the game, and to me, if the minute-to-minute -minute gameplay is boring, then why should I keep playing it? Like for me, as a good example, there are a lot of uh, JRPGs, JRPGs with admittedly some pretty interesting, unique stories. Blue Dragon is not one of those, but there are a lot of them. And I struggle with them because the minute to minute gameplay is so boring or oftentimes is just grindy and not super fun. But I've also played games like Mario where the gameplay is it. There is no narrative. Or barely any narrative. Or the narrative takes such a back seat that it's just like, eh. Eh. But that is not to say that there aren't games like Metal Gear Solid 3. Metal Gear Solid 3 has, to me, a fantastic narrative and also fantastic gameplay. Or Breath of the Wild, same concept. Really great gameplay. Minute to minute stuff that you're doing is so engaging. And the story is good enough. But that's just how I approach it. That's just how I approach it. Because mostly because I find that easier to achieve, if that makes sense. I find it easier to achieve a, a good, engaging game. Or more rewarding, I should say. It's more rewarding for me to play something that's actually like fun and, and interesting or challenging than, you know, than not. Time to place for both. That's fair. Absolutely fair. Ooh, battle axe. You'd rather have a good story under your head? Okay. Very, very different generational divide there, I think. Ooh, look at this guy on a dinosaur. Ooh, I killed him real good. I wonder if that has something to do with the availability of games now also. And just the way that the way that games work now versus the way that they used to. I think there's got to be something something related to that. Yeah. You, know, you and I have had this conversation a lot, Chris, of like you know the the way that I used to play games versus the way that you that you play games. Now, 
and even the way that I that I play games now. It's just very it's a very different ecosystem. Not saying that one is better and one is you know quote unquote right. They're just very different. I like I like Dying Light a fair bit, to be fair, and the story was so average, so there's definitely Yeah, I know, for sure. For sure. What's another good example? Oh, uh, Trials of Mana was another one where I was like, man, this story is not very interesting, but this gameplay loop is so unique. Well, fun, not necessarily unique. Anyway, that's just me. I, I know that we have a, a difference of opinion on that one. That's all right. It makes finding games that both of us can enjoy, or bo that both of us enjoy much more interesting, I should say. Because if there's like if there's something that we that you know that you have played and I have played and both of us are like man this game is awesome, then truly that game is a masterpiece, truly a, a brilliant game, the best game that's ever been made, like like Mass Effect Two, holy crap what a great game. Biggest exception for me is Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Specifically RE5, and it's all its garbage glory. Punching those boulders. <laughs> oh man. That was a blast. That was a blast. <sighs> Hopefully June is somewhat less somewhat less hectic and I'll have more time to actually play some play some games online. We shall see. Oop, come here. No, no, quit running around. Yeah. Another caveat on RE is I actually really like the story in 7 and 8. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you're moving in June? Ah, dang it. Well, you're not moving in, like the entirety of June. Well, maybe you are. Well, maybe you are. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Got plenty of time. It's a whole year. A whole year left. Oh, just a weekend. Pfft, easy mode. Easy mode. Come here, dinosaur bud. Yeah, come on through. Oh, you can't make it. You can't fit. Hmm. Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. No room. No room. Just a weekend. You know, the first thing I'm setting up to my gaming stuff. Oh, of course. I'm not going to say I did the same thing, but I definitely did the same thing. 100%. <laughs> Listen, it's important. It's also the uh, the thing that I do my work on. So, you know, I have to I had to have it set up. It's for work. It's for work. Definitely, definitely not for more... Uh, you know, Borderlands or whatever I was playing at the time. Okay, that's the exit down there. You don't have that excuse. <laughs> eh, you don't need that excuse. It's fine. I feel like I'm setting this up first. Deal with it. A jeweled short bow, you say? All right, I hear you. Kill the dinosaur. Kill the dinosaur.
Boom. All right. All right. We need to go back and sell some garbage so that I can pick up more garbage and sell it for even more garbage. Yo, dog, I heard you like garbage, so we put some garbage in your garbage. How can I help you, brothers? Welcome, brother. Oh, more stuff. In need of a weapon, you've come to the right place. Hmm. Never will you see such fine steel as you will in this shop. Hmm. Swords, axes, hammers. We have more than enough weapons for everyone. I mean, that's a pretty decent set of gloves there, eh? Welcome, brother. If you're in need of it's a weapon, too late. Right it's too late. These are also too late. Because they're, so they're, so they're better. Got it. Yeah, they're just better. Got it. Yeah, look at him. Scale mail. Okay. Looking good. Savoroni. Savoroni and the pepperoni. I think we might be able to beat this boss. I think we can beat this boss before I quit tonight. We'll see. We'll see. Where am I at? Hello. Someone, one of you dropped a jeweled something over here. Hold on, what was it? There's that, there's that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. There it is, jeweled short bow. Four to eight, that's cute. It's cute that you gave me that. And also rude. I don't need that. Give me something good. I already have like the dopest sword you've ever seen. So like. Nice try. Nice try. It's called baiting them out. It's called, that's a bait. That's what that was. He fell for it like a sucker. <laughs> I keep picking up these rejuvenation potions like I'm going to use them. Like I never actually use anything regard like anything close to that. Uh, but I keep picking them up because why not? Down to level three. Can I? Yes, I can. Uh, let's go. Well, I just saved, but you know what? I'll save again. I'm not afraid of saving. Not even a problem. Hello. Who are you? What is your deal? Can we be friends? You don't like me. You hate me even. Okay. I'll be the aggressor. Ooh, you are. You are beefy. I don't like you. I don't like that guy. They're very mean to me. Hey, how many potions do I have? Okay, the answer is 10, which is uh, not the correct amount. In fact, not the correct amount at all so far away from the right amount. It's crazy how far away it is. How can I help you, brother? First things first. Welcome, brother. If you're in need of a weapon, you've come to the right place. Never will you see such fine steel as you will. Time for bed. Shop. Crisp, have a great night. Thanks for hanging out per usual. And I will uh I'll see you later. Let's see here. Selling all of this garbage. Swords, axes, hammers. And these. Get on my face. Get on my face. Get on my face. Go down to five. I don't even need these. I don't even need those. 29 healing potions. Make it an even 30. 
Making an even 30. Boom. That's the right amount. That's the right amount. All right, now we save. Now we keep going. Let's see if we can beat this. What is it? Like a, 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 like a king or a queen or something down here? Some like evil, like dead queen or something. We'll see. Not afraid. Not afraid. You're afraid. I have this. I have this sword. Look at this guy. Look at him. Powerful, stout. Gosh, the crits are just insane. Are you kidding me? That was a, a good choice. I'm going crit heavy. Good choice so far. Not bad. Another rejuvenation potion. I swear I don't need them. I swear I don't need them. It's just a habit. I'm just picking them up by habit. It's fine. It's fine. About to level up too? Let's go. Toss another one. Yeah. Boom. Give me the healing potion. That's what I need. Rejuvenation's nothing. Try some. Let's go. Turns out the sword is pretty good. The crazy thing is the sword's pretty good. Who'd have thought? I know, not me. It's crazy. It's only enormous. Kill the dinosaurs. I will pick I will keep picking up the recall potions, I'll tell you that. Those are useful. Scale gloves, okay. Rejuvenation. That was just it's just habit. It's just habit. It says R. There's an R in it, so I'm like, oh, it's a recall potion. It's not. The problem is that it, that it isn't. Hmm. Hmm. Dang. Our dwarf friend is pretty pretty powerful. It would seem. Is there really just nothing over here? Okay. No, no, no. That's, that's okay. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's cool. 146 arrows. Doing just fine on arrows. Doing totally fine on arrows. Oh, another another big guy. Let's go. Level up. Level up, level up, level up. All right. I mean... Attack more. See, I don't want to use one of these is the issue. And Klangadin's Fist is like... Like, do I really want that? I think not. I think I want to be able to hit more and faster and heal faster. That's what I think. That's what I think. So we did it. So now we heal faster and we attack faster. Look at this. Look at this. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him. Look at him go. So fast. It's gonna make such a difference. Watch. See, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, cutting them down. Fastest sword in D and D, or something. It's pretty decent, though. Pretty decent. Not mad about it. 
What's up, guys? Oh, thanks for your garbage. Yeah. Thanks for all that garbage. Loving it. Okay, nothing over here. Great. Cool. Another dead end. Loving it. Loving it. Let's keep looking for dead ends. That's what we're all here for. More dead ends. Not bad. Try something. You won't do it. Yeah. You just walk. You, you just accept. That person just accepted their fate. They're like, you know what? I can't even stand up. Look at this. This powerful dwarf is just like swinging, swinging their sword around like so fast. I'm not even going to try. Try something. Ooh, nope, that's not it. That's not it. Well, that one did hit. That one did hit. Not going to lie. Credit where credit's due. You got a good hit on me. Got a good hit. <laughs> Another dead end? Not yet. Mm, this person wants to fight. Ooh, a fine spear. How's that spear? It's fine. It's fine. Nothing. You know what? The spear. The spear is fine. Oh, that spear. That spear is okay. It's fine. Some might call it fine. How's my health regen? I mean, it's faster, but like, is it that much faster that I maybe waste some points in that one? I don't know. We'll see. So far, it feels fine. I'm not even gonna heal. I'm just gonna let it, let it do its thing. How many how many of these do I have? Twenty, doing good. Twenty seven. Okay, not bad. Don't need any more of those. Don't pick those up. Okay, we've gotten several of these in a row. Oh lord. This guy's here. And he's ready to party. I'm going to try to shoot him. Not you. I'm going to slash you. Let's go. Hey, bud. Oh, you don't like that. Ooh, really hates that. Ooh. Fine. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, I did have to heal during that one. That's fine, though. It's fine. He's a big... He's a biggin', you know? Sturdy. Sturdy. I think we're... We gotta be near to something, yeah? I feel like we are. I'm gonna keep going. I feel like something's about to happen, you know? Uh, it'd be a real shame to wait an entire week for that. He does have a really cool spider shield, though. I do like that shield. That shield is drippy, as the, as the, uh, the children say at this point. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. All right. All right. Making it happen. Come on, dinosaur. Dead. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. I mean... We're like, we're like doing it though, yeah? I mean, we're like kind of doing it. Did miss an area over there. That is sad. 
Quick, give me. Is that healing? Okay, we're good. I was about to say, that's another dang regeneration or rejuvenation potion. Like, right, come on, game. Come on, game. I don't even use those. What is this? Take it like a champ. Take it like a champ. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. A ring of intellect, you say? Hmm. Do you see me? I don't need, I don't need intellect. Smash and grab, baby. Smash and grab. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Nope. Nope. Did I save? Don't remember. But I'm going to anyway. I didn't, and now I will. And now I will. All right. All the gold up here. Oh, hello. Locked. Okay. I mean, cool. I mean, all right. Can I blow it up? I feel like if I blow it up, he'll die. And then I have to like restart. But like, that would be really funny. Considering they don't have anything around here for me to do that, I'm assuming that I'm not supposed to do it that way. Locked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, got it. Let's keep looking. Probably some guy like walking around being like, look at my cool... Ah! So, you Founder. You are the one who has come to die. You will pay dearly for the deaths you have caused here today. My attack? You presume much. Oh, okay. The dwarven mines were to be ours, but we care nothing for the sunset mountains or your filthy surface cities. Those have been promised to others, and they may have them. D who? Can it be that you've come all this way without knowing your enemy? Then it is ignorance that has made All right, so she's now insulted us twice. Time to kill her. You will soon choke on your own screams, intruder. And then I shall offer up your body to... Oh, to Lolth. Okay. I know Lolth. Oh my gosh, I'm doing like so much damage to her though. If I, if I do get a good hit in there, like, look at that. Are you kidding me? I mean, like, she's getting some good hits, and don't get me wrong, but, like... But as am I. No magic missile! No magic missile! Magic missile does hurt. Hey, boom, baby! A horn with a cell key. Wow. All right. Well, that was a lot. Got it. What else is around here? Seems like not a lot. Oh, hi. Hey, I just killed your queen. Elvira or something. She's definitely super dead. Oh, you don't care. Okay. Well, good news. You don't have to worry about anything anymore. She's super dead. It is going to bug me that, that I didn't get up there. That's fine. There's nothing of importance up there, I'm sure. There might be. There might be. Hey, I made stream before bedtime. What up? Chilling, my dude. We just killed some, like, crazy queen lady. Don't leave. <laughs> Hi, you see her. Y'all have... Y'all are, you all, you all are so lucky, both of you. Because I have, I was, like, this close to a boss. I was like, I'll stay on for a couple more minutes. But you didn't miss Brogan. Look at Brogan. Look at this guy. Look at Brogan. 
I am an enemy of the Dark Elves. I have defeated their commander, and I'm here to set you free. I... I am broken. Tell me, are you of the Harpers? Oh. I... I was their eyes in the Sunset Mountains. There was... something stirring within the mountains. Oh. Organizing the gnolls, the ogres. Then the dragon appeared. The dragon appeared. And Mohawk, do you, does anyone ever have Mohawk envy? I know little, but How you been? I've been chilling. Hey, gory details. What's up, everybody? It must be powerful to have such troops. Brains. I just, I just, I bashed some crazy lady's head in with a sword and we just saw brains. You just missed it. In order to protect the movements of the gnolls and the mountains. I appreciate it, guys. Welcome in. Thanks, thanks, Gory. Heard them speak off their plans. Their goal was to exterminate the dwarven settlement here in order to protect the movements of the gnolls and the ogres of the mountains in exchange for their help. Oh, you guys literally just missed a boss. We're doing, we're doing Baldur's Gate. We're doing Dark Alliance, Baldur's Gate, or Baldur, sorry, Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance. Pardon me. You know, it's pretty awesome. Watching Joker right now, guys, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, it did win multiple Oscars, or at least one. It, I think it won multiple. Pretty dang good. Gory, how was stream? Which where y'all streaming? The drow killed the dwarves, so the gnolls and ogres could move freely. I, I, oh. No, I know not why. They care nothing for the gnolls and ogres. Interesting. Had a teleportation gate from Baldur's Gate to the Dwarven Camp. It could be something intended to move the Nolan Ogre trips through their gate to attack city. Oh, I, that's what I, I came through, right? The gate, but it led to the marsh. Stream was good. It was Halo Night. We had a bunch of really fun customers. It was very nice, very nice. Marsh of Kellenberg, not Baldur's Gate. So that means there are two gates here in Sinton Mountains, versus the gate leads to Marsh of Kellenberg. Cool. I had been searching for I'll pop in and say hi, have a good stream. I'll try to make the next the one. Thank you, please. See you, Samir. She did ours and rated you immediately after you rated him. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. My hunch proves true that the gate to the marsh may lie within an ice cave with the mountains. Very nice. You show me where it is. I will mark it on your map. Finding your way to well, welcome, Dragu. But you should be able to reach the cave from the mining camp. Oh. The cave itself is sealed with a great sheet of ice. Though I think the drow priestess made mention of some horn she used to enter the cave. Oh, I have the horn. The horn had the key that it just opened up your cell with. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? If these gates are the work of the creature behind these attacks, then ye must travel to the marsh of Chilimber and find Chilimber. the nature of this threat. I will do so, Brogan. I think the danger to Baldur's Gate in the region may be greater than we suspected, Burr. I fear you're right, friend. I fear you're right. This guy's very uh, chill for just being like in a prison, no in, a, in a in a cave, in like a mine. Take the battle to the beast that's stalking us. Okay. Bye. Bye, Brogan. I am gonna go check that area that I missed. Well, uh, I'm glad y'all had a fun fun Halo night. Halo's always great. We're in the process of playing through. I'm gonna hop off, gonna play Brawlhalla with your friend. Enjoy it, you see her. Enjoy it, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out and showing up right at the end. <laughs> Appreciate it. Enjoy Joker and Brawlhalla. That's a very crazy combination, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. We're in the process of playing through uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, the uh, original one on uh, a backwards compatible PS3, which is just slightly super loud. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, regardless, Gory, it was fun. Hopefully you had a good Halo as well. Off to sleep now, though, because work in the morning. Go with Baldur's Gate. You missed that old PSP. There you go. There you go. Dragu, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being part of a, of a raid of a raid. So we are in the middle of beating this game, uh, beating it for the first time. I've played this game, have not beaten it. Uh, played it back originally when it came out, which by the way was 2001. This is a PS2 game. One of the first 
and it has full voice acting and some crazy amount of like the water physics are nuts. Like look at look at these water physics for 2001. Are you kidding me? Come on. Water displacement in a PS1 game. Like, what is this? Some kind of sorcery. There's something over here. There's got to be more enemies. We're playing the dwarf character. There's uh, three characters at the beginning of this game. You can play as a, uh, a dwarven fighter or a, a human archer or an elven sorceress. And um, it's following, I think, D&D 3rd Edition. 3rd Edition is the uh, rule set that it's that is running, but it's uh, pretty great. It's pretty great. You're back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I was just talking about how we're playing this game, trying to beat it for the first time, Gory. We have played it before, but we're... We're beating it now for the first for the first time. And uh yeah, Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. On the PS2. We're playing it on a backwards compatible PS3. Pretty awesome. Fun fact about that before I go, yes. I do want that. The water physics was a test bed for Ratchet and Clank to see if PS2 could handle that displacement. It, it couldn't for Ratchet and Clank, but Baldur's it could because it wasn't running high detail character high detail characters like Ratchet and Clank's. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense because they had more memory to deal with. Very interesting. I like that, Draggy. Very, uh, thank you very much for that. Where's our friend? Hi, friend. Hello. I was worried for it's super specific and really cool, by the way. Do the Dark Elves still hold them? I've defeated them. Has truly blessed us this day. You have reversed our I should see all the stuff. What, what kind of, what's the stuff? Have this, and with it, Lots of games have their test rooms and engine limit tests. Oh, yes, I have seen several. They're in, they're nuts. We actually, Click has it in their notes in the hidden dev, in the hidden dev rooms. That's so cool. I love that kind of stuff. Clanagadin has been truly blessed this day. You have reversed our fortunes, and we shall never forget it. Have this, and with it, know you have the thanks of the Brunger clan as well. Thanks. Alive. Thrice yeah, there's there's like the the dev rooms, the debug rooms, that kind of stuff is so cool. Actually, show the water displacement and a small four x four grid was all they could muster for it. Wow. Be careful. More dangerous beasts than wolves and yeti lair on this mountain. All right, level up time. I mean, we definitely just go strength still, yeah. Eh. Yeah. Mmm. Not bad. Constitution. I think we just want strength, though. Like, I just don't see why I would why I would do anything else other than strength at this point. Okay. I mean, we, we got to do this one, right? We got to do this. More hitting. Like that. I have five left. can do more critical hit damage, and then I have one left. And I don't want to do meditation or that, because what's the point? I guess I could improve my accuracy. I guess I could. Why not? Death blow. Accuracy. Noise. Noise. Got a speedy boy with really good attacks. Let's sell this garbage. Sell this garbage. Never sell our stuff. Don't need that. Already have chain gloves, padded helmets. Check out the Insomniac Museum and Going Commando, Rush and Clank. Leslie Matheson is the designer and wrote about the PS2's limits for their for their water. The PS2 has such interesting like limitations on like the way that you had to develop for it. It in my opinion, Draggy, it's one of those things where like I think that they got away with the PS2 being as complicated as it was. And then they're like, oh, we can we can do this again for the PS3. It'll be fine. And the PS3 was as complicated, if not more complicated, than the PS2 was. And so people were like, you know what? How about instead of developing for that, let's just develop for the 360. 
but then they eventually were like, actually the PS3 can make some pretty dope stuff, which is why you see the games later in the PS3's lives, lifespan are way better. Like normally this happens, but like so significantly better than early PS3 games. It's, it's nuts. Also, when they ported Red Faction to PS2 and it couldn't handle most of the destruction, the PC version. Yeah, that was pretty. <laughs> that was pretty good. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. More than enough weapons for everyone. One to one scale, the exception was the glass hells. Welcome. Better better utilization too. Yeah, that's the thing that's crazy, is like like the P the PS2 required like a master level of like understanding to code for it, but like or to develop for it, but when you when you understood it. Whew. That thing just that thing just tore through stuff. Tore through stuff. You know what? Let's just keep what we got. We're good. We're gonna go to an ice cave. Save the game. Save the game. Head over here. Game has been saved. Pop back over to me so we can end this ding dang stream. Boop, boop, ba doop. Oh, I moved it. Boop. All right. Well, everyone, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being cool. Gory, I appreciate the raid. I'm gonna share the love, see if a friend of mine is currently streaming. And if so, then we will raid them. They are. Let's raid them. It'll be fun. It'll be happy to be here. Of course you're. Of course you're happy to be here. Happy to have you. All right. We are going to raid my friend, Emmy Kong. Make sure the friend isn't raiding after you raid immediately. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. She might be, but as of right now, as of right now, they're, they're not. So we'll see. Five bits. Appreciate it. Glad to make the tail end of them all. Dragu, ha always happy to have you here. Always happy to have you here. I see what you did there. Listen, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Emmy. Kong. Boom. I believe they are playing Kiwi with a friend right now. So it's going to be pretty fun. So, everyone, uh, be sure to hang out and go check out Emmy's stream. Emmy is a pretty awesome streamer. We've played a lot of games together. So, uh, yeah, have fun with that. Tell her I sent you. I'll be over there with you, but uh, yeah, check it out, and I will see you later on. Uh, yeah, bye.